Hi Gemini, hello Tweeling. Hi Gemini, this is your reading for the 30th to the 6th of April 2020. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and please subscribe if you already haven't subscribed and hit that bell then you'll be notified when new videos are loaded up or when I go live. And thank you very much to my Cyber Angels, the uh, old viewers. Uh, thank you very much for your support and coming back. I do appreciate you uh, supporting the channel because you also make the channel what it is. And please keep on sharing and liking uh, with family and friends and please join me for the live sessions English language on Monday and Friday. There's also loads of things happening, the series with the, the vlog series with the witch and also interviews. Yesterday I did an interview with Yasmin Westwood who is the author of this deck, the Enchanted Tarot and I'm also using the, um, the um, Archangel Feather uh, Oracle deck and the Archangel Michael deck. Please subscribe if you're new, welcome to the channel and hit that bell then you'll be notified when new things are happening and I do appreciate it, I really do. We are nearly there at the 2000, we only need six more people. So I'm sure there is somebody new here that would like to celebrate with us in the live session and when I've reached 2000 then I will go live uh, extra. Okay, I uh, most probably will choose Saturday or Sunday night if we've already reached the 2000, otherwise I will go extra next week sometime. I'll have to plan it in because there's a new interview um, also uh, being booked, so that's great. And um, when I put out these cards I thought, oh no, this can't be true. The Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups, celebrations. Um, we are in our element because we are Gemini and the King of, sorry, the King of Cups, sorry, not I thought it looks a bit like the King of Swords, but it's the King of Cups anyway. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune, new beginnings, and we've got the Tower, which is in fact also a new beginning, but an unexpected new beginning. So let's get, uh, before we get started with the reading, um, please subscribe and look at the information below the video. Uh, there you can find the email address or my Facebook page and also in, on the top page, main page, you can find my other, uh, my other uh, media channels because I do uh, go, I did go live on Instagram and I do do postings there as well. So you can be informed on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and here. So just join us and you can always uh, take up contact with me whenever you wish and go to the website and if you click on this little white dot it will take you to the website and you can see the interview also on my website instead of scouting around through the playlists and there you can see what Yasmin says and she's also revealing um, uh, new information what she's doing now and uh, what decks she's publishing. Okay, and you can get also the all the information from Yasmin on the web page. So here we go. The first, uh, I thought it was amazing when I got this, the Nine of Cups wishes and goals are coming true. Look at the signs of the angels, feathers flying. Amazing, that's what happening on Monday. Well, on Monday I have another interview with another author. So, um, stay with me and become a member and then you can follow that interview as well. And we've got the Seven of Wands. You might have to stand your ground and protect yourself through thick and thin. This is the Seven of Wands and you look, she's standing with both feet on the ground and she's determined. She's using her wisdom. She's not giving anybody any ammunition to use against her. That is um, um, an owl. And the owl stands for wisdom, knowledge. She might hold knowledge uh, that the uh, the 
uh, um, what you call it the competition or the party if you're in a judicial situation that the other party doesn't know that she has knowledge and she uses her uh, her brain wisely and her wisdom by keeping quiet and standing firm and she will only say what she has to say when she has to say it so take a page out of her book Gemini stand your ground if you need to use your 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 brain because you are an air sign and you stand for wisdom but you've got the walk so do the talk when you need to be careful how you say it and use the in intent the internish, um in your intuition but also your uh, the way you speak i forgot the sorry gemini um this is what happens because I have a uh, whiplash and I have a bad memory that's due to the damage okay it the word is intonation so watch out for the tone of your voice my sweeties uh, you can catch more flies with honey than with vinegar midweek we have celebrations Woo! nice one I hope it's really going to come true because it it in this time where we all need a bit of magic we need a, our wishes to come true even if they are mundane wishes like uh, I hope my house is clean and I've got time to watch EastEnders yes I'm a faithful fan of EastEnders and uh, I hope I do have celebrations uh, and you too perhaps that you could we can go outside again and that everything is clear then we have the ten of cups happy families reunions with family and friends and remember I just look at this I just love this how she's done that father and mother holding the hand of the baby or the child um, and I use this card for my video to give you a little bit of love and support uh, I made a presentation and I, I took a picture of the card and you can watch the card there as well and what I'm suggesting and I'm suggesting let us give a cyber hand to everybody else let somebody know that you love them and that you're thinking of them even if we can't physically touch them give them a cyber hand by um, phoning them through Skype or Messenger or sending a text message and be reunited with family and friends you perhaps might find out that somebody in the family is expecting or you might be extending your family awesome and on Friday we have the four of Pentacles and to me this is a, a major card especially at this time you might have closed off Gemini your heart your mind to new ideas come into action my darling and have an open mind and see the beautiful things around you don't only look at the negative look at your positive uh, what is happening around you being positive you might have a partner or, or you might have somebody that's come and stayed with you um, this time in this difficult time so you are not alone so open your heart and open your mind okay and if you are spending too much money then per, uh, tighten the purse strings that is also what it means but it also means that save something for a rainy day okay because once this crisis is over then there will be a, a financial or an economic crisis so be prepared um, you know for that time try to save where you can and make something new from something old and that's a challenge and that is also being creative and creating new ideas it is awesome that is also what I've said in my message I know you are creative Gemini and you can do anything you are also a nurturing type and you might meet a nurturing type a king of cups 
we've got the King of Cups here. This is our feminine side and this is also why I've used this deck because it's just reminding us to take care of each, uh, each other as well as of ourselves. Nurturing is a woman's uh, talent and second nature, love, passion, sensuality and sexuality. So nurture yourself, spend some time alone with yourself and meditate or contemplate. Go get those new ideas Gemini because there's a definitely a different and new time breaking. It is time that time is changing. As the wheel goes round and round, up and down, up and down, what goes round comes round, what goes up must Come, what goes down must come up or vice versa this is the end of time this is what is tingling in my brain end of time end of an era an end of an era as we know it there will be a new time breaking through something has come full circle okay a new beginning you might be moving home you might be going on holiday shortly okay I don't know why but I also get Rin Tin Tin cowboy time it's usually 10 to 10 cowboy time for me but uh, 10 Tin 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 so that, that's the wrinkling in my head it's uh, like be careful you uh, don't run before you can walk take your time as well Okay, it's nearly the end of time because it's half past nine, not ten o'clock. And ten is an end. So th again, you might be going up a next level in a relationship or getting a promotion, or you might find another solution. Uh, like you might be working when this new time breaks through. I tell you, a lot of people are going to work from home. Why? Because it saves money, it saves air pollution, it saves time. It saves also the businesses money to um, uh, hire people in to come to come into the office because they have to pay tolls. They have to pay travelling time. They have to pay uh, money for the petrol or uh, the receipts of the train. Okay, a lot of companies do that, so they will be cutting back in such ways that they will be saving money and they will be paying people um, to work from home. There will be certain ways that they can check you, that you clock in like the olden days and then they can see you online and they can check you when you're working and when you're uh, taking breaks. And this is already happening, so there's going to be more of this in the future. There will be also cutbacks in playgroups or childcare because mothers have to stay at home and work from home. The big changes are coming. People have to adapt to this new time coming. Okay, be the first. Come with your ideas and put these proposals to your employers or prospective employers. Be the economic, uh, econome, okay? be the first one think clearly use your brain communicate this you can sell ice cubes to Eskimos you don't have to be sly about it but some people might be sly and sneaky about it and so be aware of it if this is happening uh, in the new time people are uh, there will be people being sly and taking time away from you okay there might be people taking time away from you and they might be sneaky about it but you can stand your ground you can protect yourself you say ah, 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 no way my time is my time whether I'm at home or not you pay me for my time you can give me a rice I'll compromise you give me the half of my travel time as I have to travel down the stairs <laughs> and get dressed and be presentable as if I'm in the office sell it sell it with all your wisdom and your um, uh, your charm your your how do you call it it's a beautiful word um, 
charm. Chenise, I think it's called. Chenise is a beautiful word, but it's like talent, your gift, your charm, your beauty. Uh, oh gosh, I, I don't, I, I don't know. I can't speak English today. I was working on a video, and and trying to do a new project last night, and took me eight hours, and I didn't get to bed until half past three. So perhaps I'm a bit tired. I'm sorry, but I wanted to get the video out and look at this beautiful card Tanish, that's it, Tanish and um, you've got the tower and I think it's beautiful in this deck she is sort of chained there's chains here but her arms are free but she's also flying in the sky so to me that means that she is all of a sudden free so feel free and fly spread your wings, look at those arms she's spread her arms she's ready to fly and fly high and feel free because you are air my darling you can go anywhere you want so break free from the chains do what you think Get if you want to work from home when the time is right the new time breaks through then do so, sell it it's going to give you strength this is a beautiful reading Gemini and wow I didn't sort out these cards believe you me you have business growth you might start working from home but you'll have to clock in to work for the boss and then you can clock out and do part-time for yourself perhaps perhaps you might do that um, but try to get more information before you do that because uh, a little businesses will be going also uh, bankrupt okay so and you've got the copper angel feather in the copper angel feather there is there's no chakra for that so um, but it's the copper is going more to the brown so get yourself earthed reflect on copper and that's also good for muscles and uh, 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 between the uh, joints there is a special fleece or skin uh, capsules I think they're called and that hold the fluid so that your muscles and your ca uh, capsules move smoothly and that if you wear a copper bracelet or a copper ring that will help you against rheumatoid arthritis or fibromyalgia and you've got family protection rainbow blessings you've got a golden card here Archangel Michael advises you to invoke the rainbow light spectrum it will bring protection and blessings to your family and loved ones well you've got the rainbow protection the rainbow spectrum that's all the colors so now Gemini you have all the angels Archangel Uriel Gabriel Joy Phil Joe Phil Raphael Shamuel Haniel that's the heart then you've got Michael the throat our Archangel Michael speaking and breathing Razil and Zapkil and Metatron okay Metatron is the angel for selling houses and buying homes and clearing our chakras with the esoterico geometrical signs besides his own energy his uh, divine energy now with every reading I have chosen uh, a card and what I've chosen here is the card the tower and the tower I think it's beautiful and I do it differently for every uh, reading and I'm going to give you something extra as a lot of people are scared of the tower it's a good thing to have all the props pulled out from under us occasionally it gives us some sense of what is rock under uh, sorry it gives us some sense of what is rock under our feet and what is sand so in other in other words what is built on proper foundations and what isn't now what I'm asking everybody this week is a question and your question is do you feel as if life is falling apart 
what false beliefs are being destroyed in the process. And the task for you is, Gemini, if you wish to do it, think of a time when the tower came into your life. What was swept away and what lessons did you learn? Okay, so in other words, we all have tower moments from time to time because life goes like round in a circle, down and up, down and up. So your last tower moment, what happened? What was swept away? Think about it and how did you pick it up? What did you do? And what did you learn? So with this, with this um, uh, card I would say have a look what is will be swept away for you or what is swept away with you when the time changes because times will be better again there will be celebrations again and underneath the tower you've got the nine of pentacles so you have definitely got positive cards i wish you a great week i wish you lots of health and happiness and blessings and remember you're not alone we are all together, so please give us the thumbs up and take care of somebody in your neighborhood, even if it's a listening ear through the telephone or messenger or Skype. Love you and be blessed and I'll see you in the life. Ciao, ciao.